happy Friday, everyone. It is officially July 1st, which is crazy. I keep saying June. I think I've sent so many emails about July events calling them June because I haven't quite accepted the fact that we're already in June and halfway through the year. So um, more than halfway through the year. Crazy, crazy. So uh, it's 4th of July weekend. I hope you have some awesome fun plans. Um, getting outside is supposed to be amazing weather, but if you don't, I have some, uh, some uh, excuse me, can't talk today. Some events that you can partake in if you need plans. So I'm going through um, today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I know most of you have Monday off. We have a post going out on Monday with all 4th of July plans. I'm gonna see, maybe I'll just mention a few of those too. So let me, let me pull that up as well and we'll go through both. Um, but let's just get right to it. I know everyone's crazy if you haven't looked out your uh, window and you're close to anywhere in Meredith, Moultonboro, Center Harbor, traffic's already crazy. So keep that in mind as you plan to go places this weekend. Um, but if you're looking to get outside and you're a car buff, every Friday from 6 to 8 at the Village Pizza on Lake Street in Bristol, they do a Village Pizza cruise night. So they bring a bunch of different cars in. There's raffles, door prizes. There's usually like some sort of parade. Um, and it's hosted by the Newfound Cruisers. So if you're a car buff and you're looking to get outside and check out some cool cars, tonight's the night at 6 o'clock um, at Village Pizza in Bristol. Another fun one, again, a lot of outdoor activities lately. Um, Saturday from 9 to 11, if you're looking to get outdoors and you're a hiker, Council in the Clouds is doing their Hikers Club, and this, um, this particular event in the Hikers Club uh, is called Settlement Loop Hike. So um, it's led by an experienced volunteer hiker. It's um, Cold Spring Road to Settlement Trail. It's an easy to moderate hike. It's about two miles long. And you um, you climb approximately 200 feet, run from 9 a.m. to 10.30. So pretty quick one. It's a free event. You don't have to worry about paying for it. And they just ask that you meet for the guided hike at the Picnic Pavilions by Shannon Pond. And you will partake from there. Again, that's a hike starting at 9 o'clock at Castle in the Clouds doing settlement loop. Let's see. And, of course, if you're wine wine connoisseur <laughs> every saturday from 12 to 1 there's a wine tasting experience right at hermit woods on main street in meredith uh, bob manley who's the co-founder of hermit woods um, he gets to do a, the um, wine tasting experience with you and he's able to share his wealth of knowledge and experience and all things wine making so that's a great opportunity if you're looking to do that again if you don't like to be outdoors <laughs> a nice little cool air conditioned space for you in Wolfboro, um, at the Nick, uh, right on Trotting Track Road, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2, the Wolfboro Lions Club is putting on a car show. A lot of car shows this weekend, so it's fun for the whole family. They're, this is their second annual event. They're hoping to host this every single year. Um, there's It says, a fun, no classes, no judge show. So all, well, all vehicles and motorcycles are welcome. The event is free and open to the public. So they invite you to bring your car, your motorcycle, and head on down or just go and take a look and, and you know, explore all the fun cars that are being showcased. They're holding a 50-50 raffle and a concession stand with all of the benefits benefiting the Wolfboro Lions Charitable Fund. The 4th of July, of course. Sun so Sunday they're doing a 4th of July craft fair at Gunstock Mountain. And they host this every year. So it's July um, 2nd third through the third so it's going to be saturday as well from 10 a.m to 5 they're going to be doing a special feature with the chainsaw wood carving demos which is pretty cool they have everything from herbal um gourmet dips to wood furniture uh, wildlife photography cbd wellness products wood burning signs quilts knits, artwork, personal care, kettle corn, all the things I could go on and on and on. Um, it is rain or shine under canopies, friendly um, leash pets are welcome and there's always free parking and free admission. Friday, Saturdays and Sundays from four to six at Patrick Pubs and Eatery uh, right in Guilford, they have live music. So if you are a music, uh, I keep saying music buff and wine connoisseur and I need to like expand my vocabulary. <laughs> If you like to listen to live music, this is an opportunity to do so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 4 to 6. 
And a little bit further out at Gilmington, Saturday, Sunday, 11 a.m. to 2 at the Gilmington Year-Round Library. Um, every Sunday through the, south, the summer, they will be doing their community farmer's market. And they always have awesome farmers, um, amazing farmers and vendors, and wonderful live music. And they usually have a food truck. So tons of different stuff that you can partake in this weekend. And I'm going to pull up the blog that's going out on Monday and giving you a sneak peek of some of the events that are happening on Monday. Let me pull that up. Okay, let's see. And if you haven't met Steph or heard Steph, she's talked about the Wolfboro Parade probably a zillion times this week. <laughs> she's obsessed, and I don't blame her. Monday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., right on, it goes Old Lakeview Terrace through Main Street to Crescent Lake Ave. Um, there is a beautiful uh, 4th of July parade, and um, if, I don't think it will, if for whatever reason it does decide to rain on Monday, the rain date is July 5th at 10 a.m. So they're not going to cancel it. So keep an eye out for that. Awesome um, floats and different kind of um, uh, Independence Day themed um, activities go down. And if you want any little detail, just call Steph. <laughs> she knows all the things. And then Monday at the NASWA on Wares Boulevard in Laconia, they're doing Independence Day at the NASWA. Um, so they're calling it Happy Birthday to America. What better way to celebrate July 4th um, than to catch some rays on a gorgeous sandy beach in their annual sponsored Sam Adams Brewery. So they have plenty of giveaways from Boston Brewing Company, fun games, contests, and there's going to be fireworks as well live music and other fun things that you can partake in. So tons of stuff happening this weekend. Um, take a look at our blog. If you're unfamiliar, go to lakelifereality.net. There's a read our blog button and you can see all the events that are happening this week and I already published next week's because we're gonna be out on Monday. So if you're looking for events that are happening next week as well, you can do that also. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the long, uh, long, warm weekend. Hopefully you have Monday off and enjoy um, Independence Day. I will see you guys all here next Friday. Enjoy.